My name is Hannah, and this is my beauty budget. Hey y'all, welcome to the fourth and final video in my little mini series reviewing all of the K-Beauty products that I have been testing from the website YesStyle. The sun just set like super fast when I was reviewing the blushes. That video will have already gone up, this is the last one. And I actually think I should turn on, I'm gonna turn on some of my lights back there. I think it will look a lot better. I will look a lot less like a literal ghost. I hope. If, if there's anything that can keep me from looking like a literal ghost, that will be it. BRB. Look who I found sleeping on the chair. Sadie's actually a human baby. I don't know if you can tell. Why are you so cute? I know the color might be a little bit off now because the white balance will have changed, but all of the swatches were taken earlier when the sun was still up and everything was perfectly balanced. So hopefully the color for those will be better and the color just during this talking heads portion will be a little bit, it'll be how it is. Anyway, I am reviewing five lip products that Yes Style sent to me and I have lip swatch footage of all of them and I'm going to give you my final verdicts. So let's go ahead and get into the meat of the video. So the first product is this Mimi Box TikTok Lip Tint. I feel like the name is a little bit misleading because when you say to me lip tint, I think of like a liquid product that stains your lips a color. And that type of product usually doesn't go well for me because it always turns my lips like a really bright cool toned pink and I hate that so this isn't that though it's basically just a glossy it's a lip it's like a lip gloss chapstick type product like a stick gloss and it's very beautiful it's very cute it has a little heart shaped bullet and I like the color I don't find it to be very long lasting you know it's not something you want to wear to like last through a meal or something. It's the kind of thing that works to reapply throughout the day. It's fun to put on. It has a fruity smell. It's just it's just very attractive and pleasant. I haven't found myself reaching for it very often, maybe just because I always get distracted by the more richly colored ones, and I have been trying to kind of test and review all five at once. I have to say, when I put it on for the lip swatch video, I was sort of surprised at how good it looked. Like I had forgotten how pigmented it is. I had just kind of forgotten and maybe I haven't quite given this one its due. But nothing about it has repelled me, I think, except for maybe the fact that I think of it as a less long lasting product or less of a statement product. But um, I'll have more to say about this when it's in my purgatory box for the reckoning. Next up is the 3CE Velvet Lip Tint. And it's in the color New Nude. It's actually rather dark on me, as you'll see. It's definitely uh, sort of a strong statement color, even though it's the palest and most neutral pale color that they have. On me, it's sort of like a nutty brown, actually. And I do quite like it. The thing I have to say about this is that it's thick. It's moussey. And it has sort of like a powdery vanilla scent that I actually really, really like. All of these products are quite strongly fragranced, and some of them I, <laughs> I just really like. I kind of like it. I kind of like some of them. But um, the moussiness, I feel like some days stops me from wearing this because it has a bit of a slippy feeling. It's like a slippy, thick presence between the lips. When I was lip swatching it, I, again, I sort of surprised myself by how much I liked it. And I was like, oh, maybe I should start wearing this more often. Even though I have worn it a good number of times, I prefer sort of a thinner formula and something that feels a little bit more tenacious. Um, so just know that this, it has that velvet, when it says velvet lip tint, it does mean that it has kind of like a hefty, moussey soft quality between the lips. Even though I have found myself a little bit put off by the moussey quality, I would buy this in another color. Like if I were making an order from YesStyle, I would probably try another color of this because the color range for the 3CE lip tints is just exquisite. Like I, I wanted to request every color, but I try to kind of keep it to one of each type of thing. I have so many lip products, I didn't want to go absolutely ham, that's not really my style, but it was hard when it came to this velvet lip tint. And even knowing what I know about the slight moosiness and the thickness of it on the lips, 
I would still try another color because it is a good product. This is also a 3CE product. It is a bullet lipstick and it's in the color Hit Me Up. It's their matte lipstick. I think it's just called a 3CE matte lipstick. I love this color. I love this orange color. By the way, I haven't been telling you why I've been blotting because I realized partway through that some of you might be expecting that when I'm kissing the back of my hand it's to show you if there's transfer, but I'm actually doing that to show you what the lip product looks like after it's been blotted, like after it's dried down a little bit, because usually when I apply products like this, any lip products, not products like this, any lip products, Usually I apply them, I buff out the edges a little bit to soften the lip line because my lip line's a little uneven. I'm 34 years old, I'm starting to get little, little lippy wrinkles and also my lips are asymmetric like most people's. So I, I soften it around the edges and then I usually do blot it by kissing the back of my hand a couple of times to really press it into the lips and make it feel like it's organic to my lips instead of something that was like meticulously painted onto my lips. So in the swatches, I'm trying to show you what it looks like when it's freshly applied in vogue a little, and then I'm kissing it off to show you what it looks like when it's worn down or when it's been intentionally blotted down a bit because that's the look that I prefer. So that's why I'm doing that. Anyway, this lipstick, as you will see, freshly applied, not blotted. It's so gorgeous. It's like a rich, velvety color. When I first wore this fully, I remember registering that I wanted to tell you guys it's a little bit dry. Like I felt when I first went to try it on, it tugged a little bit, but it didn't dry my lips out. And I also feel like I never had that problem again, maybe because I had grown accustomed to it, but now it sort of just feels like a regular matte lipstick to me, like a matte bullet lipstick. I appreciate that slightly sort of rough quality, not rough, not like, not, um, what am I saying? Not grainy, but just a slightly, it's got like a sticky, tenacious quality to it. I like that because I like putting on a lip product and feeling like it's going to stick for a long time, but it doesn't feel tuggy and dry. It might be a little bit, it's not super creamy. Like it's not like mm, cream, cream. It's not like that. So, you know, if you don't like something to feel a bit stiff, then you might not like it. I don't mind that in, when it comes to eyeshadow or when it comes to lip products. So that, but that is one of its qualities though. It is a little bit of a stiff matte. It isn't the longest lasting matte lipstick, matte bullet lipstick that I've ever put on. When I wear it for a full day, I have to reapply it around noon to get sort of a little bit of a more even spread. It'll still be on my lips, but it'll have faded a little bit. So I do reapply it about once in a day when I wear it. But I find it to be more tenacious than the ColourPop Lux. When those ColourPop Lux lipsticks first came out during my No Buy year, I really wanted to try them. I was like dying to try them. I finally tried a couple after my No Buy year, and I just haven't been impressed by the staying power. I just feel like they're they're silicone-y and they end up sort of slipping off. I like this better than that. I feel like it's a better formulated lipstick than those ones and at a similar price point but it's it's not like it's completely blown me away in terms of how long it lasts on my lips. So it's like a little bit in the middle when it comes to that. Okay, this next one is my favorite of all of them. This is the 3CE Soft Lip Lacquer in the shade Explicit. This is another one, another range in which the colors are just to die for. Like I wanted to try them all. Like I want Part of me wants to try them all. I like this formula, the Soft Lip Lacquer, better than the Velvet Lip Tint because it's more liquidy. It's thinner and more liquidy, but it's very, very pigmented. I mean, it is like uber pigmented. It's a little bit like a slightly, ever so slightly more viscous version of the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigments, but it doesn't dry down like a matte liquid lipstick. Instead, it's sort of softens and melts into the lips and becomes sort of like a soft presence. Matte, a soft matte, slightly sort of stainy feeling and stainy in the way that it looks, but it doesn't actually stain. Again, it's not a lip stain, but it does sort of wear away to like a stainy feeling. It just wears, all of these, they wear quite elegantly. I love the kind of softness that they imply. So with this, you'll see me applying it. I just need a tiny bit and then I can go in with my fingers and with a Q-tip and just like smudge it all over and define the lips and fill it in. It just seems, the pigment just seems to like go and go and go. 
But again, once it starts drying, it becomes just very lovely and easy to wear. And the color to me is to die for. It's like this gorgeous cross between like a soft, a soft red and a soft, rich pink. I just, I, I just love this. I just, I love this. This is one of my favorite products of all of the ones that have been sent to me, like across the board. And it's definitely my favorite of the lip products that have been sent to me. And finally, the Rom and Zero Velvet Tint in shade 05 Witty. This is the thickest of all of them. It's also moussey, kind of like the Velvet Lip Tint from 3CE, but it's it just has a very stiff quality. It's almost like you whip, like somebody whipped it in a blender until it had stiff peaks. You know what I mean? Like you could make a meringue out of it. But when it's blended onto the lips with a very pointy applicator, which is extremely useful because you can use that tiny tip to define the lip line, but softly, which is what I like. When it's blended out, it does melt into the lips. It doesn't feel like it stays like a thick presence on the lips. It might even melt a little more easily into the lips than the one from 3CE. And it wears beautifully. This might surprise you. This is what I have on right now. It's just that I blotted it off aggressively before I started filming and now I've been filming for like four straight videos and talking for four straight videos. So this is probably a good representation of what this product would look like after you'd worn it for a couple of hours because that's kind of what I've been doing. I've been like living in it. And, I, and if you see the swatches, like the swatch video where I had freshly applied it, it's like really, really rich in statement. This is a much more lived in lip look. And I love that. I love how part of me and how lived in this ends up looking. It, similar to this one, is not the most tenacious. I'm glad that these products, they wear off sort of a little softly. I feel like maybe the more liquidy one, the soft lip lacquer, is the most tenacious of all of them. That might be another reason why I like it. It's the one that I can kind of just set it and forget it, even though it has that soft quality. So this one, when I wear it for the day, like to work, I also usually check around noon to see if I want to reapply, because sometimes it will wear completely off sort of around the inner rim of my lip. It wears elegantly, but still. Because it's kind of a statement color, it's nice to reapply it. It's interesting, these products, most of them, most of these lip products are, I think, uh, they're, they have the sort of soft quality and they are long wearing enough for me to feel like it's really, really worth it, especially because the colors are so beautiful. But they aren't matte liquid lipsticks, you know what I mean? They aren't super long wearing and they don't necessarily feel high end in terms of their wear. Like the way they wear, the longevity, it's almost like that's where you see the the pricing. Like that's they they just they wear like really 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 beautiful drugstore products. Maybe with the exception of this one, I'm like in love with this one. I would pay three times what is being asked for this one. I just feel like this is amazing. The soft lip lacquer, it's like a clear clear winner. But the more moussey ones, the the more moussey ones in tubes and the bullet one, they they perform appropriately for their price. And then the colors again. All right, I feel like I've said all I needed to say about these lipsticks. I have got to stop filming all these videos and go make dinner and eat dinner. It is time to pay the price. I can tell you right now that I will be hard pressed to let go of any of these in The Reckoning, which is surprising for me because this is a lot. Like the guest style sent me a lot of products for me. For me, it's a lot. And so to be like, I'm gonna keep them all rather than just choosing like the one or two that have really impressed me. I mean, we'll see, we'll see how it shakes down, but uh, I really, I'm really a fan. The blushes like have kind of surprised me. Their textures have been really different and interesting and I've had to get used to working with them. And the eyeshadows have been a little bit more stiff than what we're used to. And you know, the face products have been kind of unpredictable and unusual. So in some ways, many of the products that I've been reviewing are a little bit of a gamble or a little bit like taste specific and formula specific in terms of how they work out. I feel like lips, that's an area in which if you're interested in making an order from Yes Style, you kind of can't go wrong. I think that these are, they're great. And that is it. That's it for my little series. That's it for this little video. I hope you enjoyed the whole thing. I would love to hear any questions. I haven't been saying that the whole time because I've been 
just rushing from one video to the next. But yeah, let's chat in the comments of this video, all of them. Everything will be linked down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you remember to take extra good care of yourself this week so that you can be the most effective version of yourself as you do your work.